my opponent is Albert 62 Yorion, round one, worst matchup. Uh, oh well. Uh, not sure. I'll keep. I think maybe that's the problem with blue white and these prelims. I think they might be a uh, more four color than usual. Run and six, no fresh land. Interesting. And we know they don't have a fetch land. I could just hope to never draw one. I guess I'm just going to do that. It's, oh, I forgot to fetch. That's a good start. Oopsie. Have a good sleep schedule. I don't know about that. Damn. They drew it. Must be. I don't think it was a bait. That'd be some next level stuff. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that. Probably would have had a shot if they hadn't drawn a. They hadn't drawn that right away. <clears> hey, <throat> Stone Rain. Better way than never. Sorry, I don't have six cards in hand. Absolutely fine. I'll just draw it to fairy. Oh yeah, camera froze. So obnoxious. I don't know why OBS is pretty great overall, but... For some reason the cam stuff is pretty bad. Okay, it looks like they have a really reactive hand. Might actually have a glimmer of hope here. So it's gonna get ended, but gotta start somewhere. Alright, that wasn't too bad. All I have to do is activate, deactivate. Yeah, so I kind of just really, really dialed in. It was definitely not my camera that was frozen. No ending on the chalice. All surprised. We're gonna main face solitude. Okay. I guess I'll play my own. Yeah, one ten though, this is gonna be uh this is gonna be become a regular occurrence. I decided to uh I don't know exactly what it's going to end up looking like, but stream start earlier in the afternoon, stream less and earlier at night. Just overall. If I could draw like one source of card advantage, I might actually be in business. If I were trying to assist poorly, I'm a little ahead on time, which is nice, I guess. Solitude, yeah. 
Oh, I see that's fine. I can just use a verdict. Oh, you're in night shift. Wow, well, yeah. 3 a.m. on the West Coast. All right. We might be in business. We know they have a Yorion in hand. We don't know much else. Yorion and some bad cards. Hopefully not too many counter spells. Devon had a chance to use counter spells yet, really. So their hand could just be a bunch of counter spells. Okay. I'll say go one more time. Didn't even think about it, so there's almost no way to have counter spell in hand. Deck or the deck list not updated. I'll take care of it in a second. Classic professional streamer over here. I'm going to bring back Dragon first, I think. Maybe make them use a Solitude and then Verdict away two creatures or make them use a Fury. You guys have a million like Unholy Heats and whatnot. No, they untapped. Unholy Heat is not turned on yet, I guess. No Delirium. I have a quick question, if you don't mind. Before... I have to get back to marking. Do you think that card sex is decent color side? I haven't thought about that stuff. I mean, I've just seen what the card does and so specific questions. I'm not even sure I exactly know what the card does. So I don't want to waste too much time looking stuff up. This is a matchup that goes to time a lot. Should I just draw now? Probably play another chalice on the one, right? Why would I not? Well, I keep talking about it on the holy. I forgot I had chalice on the one. Awkward. Um. I'll save my verdict for later. I'll counter that. I'm not sure if it's a good play or not, but I feel like keeping my Teferi is kind of nice. If they Yorion, that's fine. Auto War at the token. Mm, kind of got got here. It's fine. It's just a Teferi. It can't trip. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> I was gonna say something about like, oh, I have almost no lands left. I don't want a verdict now, cause then if they play, not, I'm gonna wait one more turn to verdict. Does not a great sequence for me though. That auto R was pretty good value. All right, no lands left, no one island left. Didn't draw a special land, didn't draw Vantress or Hall. A little unlucky, but... Okay. That was good. Can make a 4-4 four, four and have counter spell man up. I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to be too greedy. And if they have another Solitude, that's fine. I don't know. Maybe I'm just supposed to hard cast in this matchup. 
but I'm kind of low on life. I guess I can dress down if they have solitude. Is that worth it? Then I'm tapped out, but they also counters their Yurion. Kind of bad that it doesn't attack for Yurion, I guess. All right. Is MTG bot on a little hiatus? Round one of the prelim. I think I should maybe just counter that. I know it's my only counter spell, but I don't want them to snowball. Nice. Finally. Can you imagine if any of these lands were a Vantress or a Hall instead? The game would have been over a long time ago. Okay, we need to dodge one. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's a two for one. They have a. But they have Auto War, actually. Probably gonna get back Auto War, right? Yeah. Okay. Tough, but. I think like that was bound to happen, I guess. Counterspell and Ice. Does keeping Ice make sense? I don't think so. All right, I mean, we know it's getting bounced, but... It's weird, the field, the battlefield is so small. I'd have Solitude. Right, saving Ottawara for get dress down. I want to dress down because I want to make them use their Ottawara, I think. Hey Macy, thanks for another gifted sub. Thank you so much. Ooh, the light sh uh, light shades. I like it. I like it when the regs get gifted a sub. It's nice. I'm not immune to platter. You got him. Easy gifted sub. Thank you so much, Macy. All right. We got what we wanted. All right, let's get rid of that friend. Step one. Step two. I guess just say go, right? I'll delay the chase a tiny bit. 17 minutes, 16 minutes. I'm already starting to lose ground. Thing is, I'm not sure what I'm keeping counterspell mana up for, honestly. Okay, I don't need to scry because we have Jace in hand. The Jace expertly added to the deck for the 19 turn game. Don't need another Vantress. Don't need a Verdict right now. Could have hard cast again. I might hard cast next turn. We'll see. Bottom, bottom. I beat a turn to Ren and Six. Yeah, I mean, they drew really terrible afterwards, but yeah, I did. All right, let's put the nail in the coffin here. Let's not play too, too, like, recklessly. Yeah, they're one Besiju in play. Well, I'm assuming it's a one of Besiju. That's fine.
We're just stacking on top of each other now. Nice. I think I'm just going to start plussing. Just plus everything. How much damage do I have? 4, 11, 14, 21. Um, yeah, I had a made up time. I was at two minutes and I'm behind. And not only do you have to win the games, but you have to win them in a timely manner. Basically, Mission Impossible. Wait, did I miss count? No, I don't want to discard that. How do I? How did I miscount? Thought I had a uh, twenty-one. There. It's all right. That was this long game. Hopefully, not every game is as long. I'm gonna restart Magic Online real quick. Give me a second. Do I have anything running in the background? I don't think so. Discord, nothing. Um. I don't think know how uh, how well for sides were in this matchup. I might just board out all the verdicts because I'm have these subtleties. Mexican, Irish, or Italian? The Irish. It's just randomized that G if he wants, and I just grabbed uh, which, whichever they had for me. All right, let's see what's bad against them. Verdict can go. Ice kind of bad against Veil. So I'm going to cut them. I think the Chalice are probably important. I do not have to hear up. I just have the stupid dragon in my main. I did a mix of Wafos and Masuka Fuyat's latest list. Cut a Chalice. Cut a Teferi. I guess I won't do all the Dress Downs or all the Vetoes. MTV Blood on Strike asking for Race Day, maybe. I think I actually. I think I actually support MTG Lot. I think I think I'm a patron. It's tough, you feel bad because you use a bunch of resources and stuff and you can't really like sub to a bunch of streamers and sub to like there's MTG bot. What else? There's a few things like that. Gamble. All right, on the greedier side, but let's keep some spells here. Divine Purge, I hate that card. I think it's pretty bad. I don't know about how good it is in modern, but... It's like it's like so rough once you start building your decks around cards like that. I did not slam it to fairy. 
You'll have to see it. I'm just get basic planes here, right? Was Mr. Gate. I think my lead was Shark Typhoon. They're shocking. Are they playing a charm version? Oh, I try them. Uh, too bad, I, I guess if I had a dress down, I'm not even sure I would. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I just have to counter it. Counter and pray. Land, please. Please, please, please. Nice. Now I can go veto plus cycle, potentially. Okay, this game's going as good as I could have possibly hoped for, really. Even I mulligan in the Kip 7. Could not ask for much, much more. Ending. Sure. They haven't played a nice thing yet. Surely they have ice thing in there. They probably have a bunch of counters. Kind of want to hold my dress down because I don't think I'm slamming to fairy here. I feel like it's a pretty big deal if I can get a nice thing trigger with a dress down. Interesting they played Basaju there. Not worried about Chalice, I guess. Our resolves? Definitely did not expect that to snap resolve. Up to discard to hand size. Awkward. May just bring back a dragon, but doesn't solve my problem of discarding to hand size. I don't know, maybe this is just bad. Doesn't make their Yorion worse. I might I might not have a removal for Yorion. Sorry, I'm not really paying attention to chat. I'm trying to like play fairly fast. Might just not have much at all. Well, they don't have delirium yet. Don't want to get tracked by Veil. They haven't had a a good spot to play Veil yet. I think I'm just gonna cantrip here. Looks like they're just playing their lands. Might as well Finn. We know one of their cards is a Yorion, so let's just go for it. I hope they don't have triple. Okay. Well, I guess they could have Unholy Heat, right? I can still get tracked by Veil. I really don't want to get tracked by Veil. I feel like I'm decently far ahead here. I feel like that's how they come back in this game, if I just play into a Veil. Where should you start your Pioneer testing? Blue-white control, blue-black control are pretty good if you like control decks. Mono-green, apparently, the new tech is to, uh, instead of Nico Bolas, what some people uh, were doing. This I have to let resolve. I mean, I have triple solitude. Um, Red-black mid-range, mono-green. Depends. Lots of, lots of good decks. 
there's a lot of people who stream like I'm going to be streaming a decent bit of uh Death four cards. Five plus. I guess I'll just plus. I have that dragon in the yard too. That's fine. I'm gonna make Yorion. I must counter now, which is a little unfortunate. Pre combat veil. I mean, it kind of sucks that I do have triple solitude, but I don't know what they're going to try to resolve. It's good solitude one in response, and they draw one card. Could have Omnath. I guess I should just counter it. So good. I have to counter it even though. Uh... So obnoxious. Well, at least it, it seems like they did have the Veil. So I'm pretty glad I played the way I did. I think I would have probably gotten wrecked. Can end of turn if they don't like make me use a counter, I can end up turn ran and six. That's four cards though. Oh, that was a lot of good draw steps for them. I mean, obviously they were kind of due at some point, but I don't have minded if uh they kept drawing like trash just a tiny bit longer. I think I should just sell it to you now. Given my hand. It's not super great, but I don't think it's worth like repping anything at this point. Just more important to uh preserve an extra loyalty. Yeah, on time, but at least game's going fairly fast. I have Solitude plus four, so that's kind of nice. I think I just Solitude Ice Fang and Blux. Eh. It's close, right? I mean, they're pretty low. They're at 11. But I think I'm more interested in playing for value still. I'm not trying to push crazy damage. I have the dragons going to kill them pretty fast, I guess. Okay, looking good. Could have played, could have said, no, nah, thing goes bad. Okay, I guess we win. I guess you can beat four color when they draw all spells. Easy. Who said it was a bad matchup? I don't understand. They're going to Emmer call my face and I'm going to lose. I don't want to counter that, honestly. Probably the only way I'll lose now is Emmer call. You guys had lethal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And lethal, those may be bad. And I actually have him recall. But you can just counter that, right? It's spell costs one less. Well, let's guess when you cast this spell, you flying protect. So I can solitude it. Can make a free free shark. And Solitude, and then I'll still have Counterspell in hand. 
Yeah, you're right. Market counter spell. I think I just counter it. Counter it, make a one on one shark, solitude for nothing. Well, this sucks. Could hard cast solitude and then have to counter my own spells, which is four. But then they can get rid of my Teferi. Uh, oh, what did. Oh. Yeah, that was not great, that tank. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, now they can make themselves draw two cards. They can bounce one of my tokens. Oh, they can bounce their button growth. Okay. Okay, that was good. Oh no, they can delusion take zero. You have to take two cards. With two of them, you have to. Okay, that's good. So they can make themselves draw two, and then and it's not that great, honestly. If they make themselves draw two, then they can't do anything else. Oh yeah, they can counter counter. Yeah, I can make themselves draw two. Oh, they didn't counter counter. They messed up. They messed up. They could have counter countered. Huge mistake. Now they're going to deluge and take two lands, probably. Which is fine. I mean, lands is fine. I have deluge in the yards. They have to take two, right? Hey, <laughs> four good cards. Okay. They have four cards with their draw step. I have two counters, two castles, or deluge in the yard. I mean, they have to give me both castles. They're not going to give me both spells. Yeah, 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 that that went that one. Also, they had twenty four. They could have bounced their bottom growth for extra card advantage. Oh, they played the land for me. Oh, they can subtlety counter. Wow, they got so lucky, dude. I can't believe how lucky they got. Dude, they messed up so badly and got so lucky. Wait, they they messed up. Why didn't they counter it? Okay, nice. I'll take it. Well, that's kind of BS, but I guess I brought in subtlety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess I have delusion in the yards. And draw. I think I might draw with Teferi. Oh, I could just rip. I could deluge main phase rip. Turns off on Holy Heat. So that's gonna draw. Man, I can't leave their last card in hand was just Emrakul. Unreal. Definitely countering that. I have Castle too. I can counter counter Castle, so it's not the end of the world. If I don't get to Deluge right away. I don't know if they're baiting. I do have. I think I should still counter it. Could be bait. Could be bait for like Omnath. I guess Omnath's really good to have two fetch lands in play. Okay, maybe countering that was a mistake. All right, I got kind of lucky, I think. Yeah, who cares about my Teferi? I don't think I really care about my Teferi. Um, I guess I'll take Subtlety and Mending. Not sure if Second Hall is very useful.
Duo, easy. Easy, yeah. They messed up that, uh, they messed up that MR call turn pretty badly. Combination of misclicks and probably misclick not countering a uh, full value too. I could keep, I have an answer to turn one Ragavan, which is big. I think I'm gonna mulligan though. All right, you play 24 lands. I guess you have to keep these hands. Chalice is great if they're playing Merc Tide. Dress down's pretty bad, I guess. Easy dress down. Random. Dude, I don't want your. I don't want to see. It's gonna get ugly real, real fast. Oh, uh, Declet's still not updated. I'm just playing regular blue white control. Nothing too crazy. We've been watching the Waffle streams. Man, triple bubble. Should I play Chaos for zero? I think Chaos for one's just too good against them. And that already played a bubble. You have to fetch here. Obviously, you don't want to thin your deck, but. Trying water and try and tap is not great anyways. Oh uh, man. I think my keep's fine. I don't mind it. Hey Matt. I'm good, I'm good. I was doing better before I missed my second land drop, but Do you have two verdict, which is nice in this matchup? I don't think I'm in a rush to play a Chalice. I think I'll just say go. I might even counter Charm here. I don't hate it. I don't love it. Obviously it doesn't feel great when they untap and go iteration, but nothing's going to feel great this game. When I'm stuck on land like that, all my plays are going to feel Yeah, is that Merc Tides? It's fine. I have double ice. I draw a land. Probably get way less punish in game one with draws like that. Because they can't punish you as a Blood Moon and a Jace. See what their latest six looks like, by the way. They do maybe have like Chase in the main or something. Four Ragaman, four Shredder, three Regent. No Blood Moon, nothing weird. Could bait Chalice for one here. Well, not bait, but not a bad spot. Or I could save my ice for a Ragavan. I have Verdict. I have Shark. Who knows? Maybe I'll play a second creature. Chumping with Shark. Chumping with Shark seems pretty bad when... When they probably have a bunch of dead unholy heats and stuff in hand. Yeah, lightning bolts. They might use a spell pierce here if they have spell pierce. No, they don't care. Plus, shark's kind of your win condition. They have four cards in hand. All right, I mean, do I want to buy more time? Is there a point in trying to delay it some more? Definitely don't want to start taking hits. Be a decent use of my mana too, because I've dressed down. It's 
close. It's funny why I changed your message where I was up for review. I guess you used the word burn or something. It didn't, uh, Twitch didn't like, uh, <gasps> oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, if you look at the sentence, you can see why Twitch chat wanted to make sure it was okay. <laughs> Yikes. I'm going to get flagged for racial hatred. Is Timeless Dragon particularly good versus Blue Red like in Legacy, or does Lack of Days Higher Prism only change his stats? Uh... I've literally never played with a card before today, I think. I think Timeless Dragon's just like, it's like all these cards like Fire Eyes, Shark Typhoon, etc, etc. They're just like all pretty good. It's just hard to uh, to figure out, you know, exactly which one which one's best and whatnot. Almost for sure he's sandbagging one, maybe two creatures there. Um, Timeless Dragon. Yeah, I mean, it's it's uncounterable, it's card advantage, it's, yeah, it's just kind of nice. Or is it in Legacy, uh, according to Mario? Even when you think you're doing okay, you just have so much card advantage. How many regions does he play? It's all right, Kelvin. I shouldn't even have said anything. It was. Let's move on. Sometimes you like type stuff, and there's a bunch of words in there, and then it looks like bad. All right, I do like that I drew a. Uh... Mana, not saying that counter is necessarily going to save me. I don't think I want to start burning my my Shark Typhoons just to chump, and then I just have Unholy anyways. I mean, obviously the sweet spot, if somehow you can make it to 9 mana and start making 7-7s, seven that's ideal. And I think taking hits to try and draw cards and stuff and get ahead is just... Not really a winning play. I mean, I have to counter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to top deck it to fairy or something. Kind of, kind of unfortunate. He drew like all three regions. He drew all three regions and three iterations. That part's pretty tough. At least it's only a five-five. And I guess he doesn't have a huge graveyard. All right, I think the play should maybe cycle for a 1 1 main phase here. Or maybe I should charm. And he has infinite mana, right? I'm going to main phase draw, try and hit a land drop. That was pretty good. Oh, do I want to chump right away? No. Don't think it makes a ton of sense. I mean, it's kind of bad if I draw a verdict. But if I draw a verdict, I guess I'm pretty happy now. All uh, right. Give him that ability. I think I'd rather lead with that because that's the worst card in my hand and I don't want him to loot again. And now it's kind of close. The fairy is kind of nice here because I get to Shark Typhoon for one right away. It's like really good use of my mana. Even though, man, I'm only one mana off, 7-7 seven, seven Shark. Right 
that's how many charms does he play? He plays two charms, one counter, one charm, two charm. He's only played one counter spell. Jeez, gotta assume at least one counter. Play solitude gets countered. I go down to five. Seven seven shark typhoon type dream is uh is tempting. Might just have double removal spelled for it. Uh, all right chats. Let's let's not play for the type dream. Just gotta hope to draw more to fairy, more verdicts, etc. Maybe it's maybe I'm playing maybe I'm playing scared. Okay. No counter, you say. No counter. You'll love to see it. I mean, maybe they have a counter. It's kind of sick if maybe he had spell pierce and he didn't pierce it, and now I get to uh, now I get to hard cast solitude. I mean, surely if you have a counter, you counter to fairy. I could literally to fairy minus merc died. All right, I guess my play, uh, like my play of not believing in the pipe dream kind of paid off so far. Not a regent? I thought that was a fair and made to play for now. All right, a top deck the charm. Good thing they didn't have it. They have another bolt, I guess. I mean, I have Deluge, but I'm getting kind of low. Still has Andron a Ragman, too. Probably getting Dash Ragman here or something. How many bolts? That was second bolt. Does he play the two to three bolt version? Four bolt. Okay, I mean, Teferi did its job. Realistically. Oh, region number four. Well, I'll have one verdict left. Thanks. I guess after fairy to fairy is also pretty good. Solitude verdict to fairy. Jace is okay. Wow. Might eight. Oh, that's unfortunate. What a choke. Wow. Wow, that was ridiculous. All right, it's sideboard. Free Fluster Storm. Two Blood Moon, one Jace, two Dispute, two Subtlety. Two Blood Moon and one Jace and a ton of counter. That's tough and subtleties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, potentially nine, ten. This has enough to board out almost all the one mana spells. Is I guess Chaos is still pretty good against them, right? Yeah, I think Chaos is still good. I'm actually not the hugest fan of Solitude.
Not sure you want to rely on Verdict up your sideboard because of Blood Moon and Jace. Makes Verdict plan worse. They don't play a ton of creatures. I think I'm just going to cut all the, all the Verdicts. But if I cut all the Verdicts, I probably need to keep in all the Solitudes. Oh, Moonlight doesn't do anything. These cards are bad. Yeah, let's try that plan. I still like Chalice. Even if they cut a lot, they still have some left. Still have a lot of one mana spells left. I like Force and Veto because of Iteration, Charm. Blood Moon, Jace. Mm -hmm. Like, of course, it's maybe not the greatest in a grindy matchup, but this way they can't just, you know, maybe you can tap out for a turn free to fairy and they can't just slam the door on you. Okay. Do you play for. Get Chalice for zero. Kind of feels bad if they play turn one Ragavan. Could have spell pierce into shredder, so okay. Do I try to play around Blood Moon mana? Can I afford to? Good old, good old trap. Telling yourself uh, you can beat a Blood Moon. All right, that's nice. Shell is secured. Dress on zero also stops explosives. Better another one. Alright, that's nice. That means he doesn't have lands. It's not a bad draw. Not great, obviously, but... What do I do? No charm. Okay. I was going to say, what do I do if he charms there? Looks like iteration coming my way. I feel like he might be stuck on land. He's the one playing scared. Okay, right. Dumb. All right, that was as good as it gets for a non-land. It's starting to be mana screwed. That was a really good draw, obviously. It's not a giveaway that I don't have counter spell. And I'm ahead on time. Oh, it's that. Land for the win. Maybe I want Stottle T over the Planeswalkers. They would be better here anyways. Yeah. I see a lens great draw here. Regent, one blue.
it's kind of cool how Verdict is your best card, one of your best card game one. And then after sideboard, you don't really need it. You don't want to sideboard that way. Talk about it all the time, but I'm not a fan of uh, of Verdict after sideboard. It's just much tougher to, to play that game. All right, on the draw, I already have all the Solitudes. On the draw, you would love to have extra answers to Ragavan, but there's no good answers. Because you want to play Chalice on one. You could have Forge Tender, I think. Like one or two Forge Tender. But then if you draw them after you have Chalice on one, it feels pretty bad. Force, even more important on the draw. Maybe Jace and Teferi is just like way too greedy. At least Teferi pitches to Solitude and it's a clean answer to uh as in against Murktide you bottom it. It's a little easier to cast maybe against Blood Moon too. I mean not that subtlety is very good in this matchup. You could also do one verdict. It does pitch it does pitch to Solitude. You are pretty low on the white cards. I guess you have the vetoes up to sideboard. Oh lag. Does Fluster get through Chalice? Yeah, this, the copies do. The first one, though. The blue circle of death. Is my internet down again? It micro crashed yesterday. It crashed for like 20 seconds. It doesn't look like it. Stream still up. I guess I'll count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. I don't like closing it when it's like that, but clearly not supposed to take Jace out. The magic gods got offended. Yeah, thanks, Ali Quanto, for explaining the difference between a preliminary event and a league. Okay, well, not a big deal. I didn't want to change much anyways. I do hope I get back in the match, though. That would suck. Imagining this raging moto when this kind of thing has way worse consequence on moto, true. Uh, kept seven cards. I don't have a Ragavan answer. I think Waffle would keep... This this hand. It's okay -ish against Blood Moon. And I do have seven out to Ragavan. I mean I'm only forty percent to have even less of turn one ending. I think you kind of have to key. That's just blue white control life. Yeah. He has Ragavan. Sucks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can beat a few Ragvan hits, but it's tough. It's really tough. I mean, maybe I should search my one basic planes now. Wrong to fairy. Thank God. My heart skipped a bead there. Yeah, this game's gonna be fun. Oh man. Feels bad.
Good news is she probably doesn't have a billion removal spells. Okay, well, I dodged. I dodged a couple hits. I'm going to bring back in a uh, verdict, too. Assuming it didn't register my sideboard changes or anything. Three verdicts in the sideboards. Hydro land for every turn of the game, too. Just in case. Just main phase bolts. Hope hope that doesn't mean he has another. And basically, my only chance is to hope Shark Typhoon trades was uh. Hope Shark Typhoon trades was Ragavan. Top deck, my one. Oh no, he got rid of my one dispute. I don't even top deck anything. Oh, that was incredibly lame, but it's the blue white life. Didn't get to play Magic really game one, and then Trios likes to play Hammer Time, so I'm gonna keep. Decent hand against Hammer Time, I guess. No way, someone deleted your stubborn command. Oh, you know what? MTG bot is down. Chase competing with Second Deluge, yeah, kind of. Got the dress down. Feels a little bad to have to use uh, a verdict, but I guess it beats dying. I'm a big fan of just not dying. Also, easy clap. Hopefully he has another Stoneforge. That would be pretty ideal. Sentinel. I'm not sure when else I'm going to be able to play. And this way, if he does have Stoneforge, at least he won't cast it right away. Also, if he has the... Um, the 2-2. Two, two. Alright. Do I want to end something here? Shark Typhoon for 1 into Verdict makes sense, right? I could end the aid. Kind of don't want to have to... Uh to Verdict and let him draw a card if I don't have to. I think you just say go here. They always have insane openers. You have a lot of good open, like just turn one Sentinel is good. Any Stone Forge Mystic draws usually pretty good. That means he probably has another hammer. There's almost no way he would attack Sentinel into, uh, but that's still my play. He's going to draw two cards off my verdict. Which is fine. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. I could go Verdict, you draw one. Or I could go Double Ending. They're both really good plays. If Barry was... Uh...
The fairy was double ending, super nice though. Good bomb saga for now. I have dress down for it. I could plus. Plus is pretty nice. We got a floater. That might be not that might not be optimal in this matchup. Alright. That might be not, not optimal in this spot, what I just did, but I, I don't think I can lose this game, really. Seems like it's in the bag. From the Ghastly Eerie, etc. Ending the drum earlier? Maybe? I, I kind of forget exactly what happened. I use my mana every turn, right? I think I use my mana every turn. I think I played it well. Don't think I made any mistakes. I added the fairy, the fairy, the fairy minus is is questionable. Good fetch now. I mean, he might he might get a. He's probably just gonna get a hammer, equip it to Ornithopter. What else would he do? I'm gonna do it now because I don't know what's going on here. I can steal the Ornithopter too. I don't know what's better. Uh, steal it. Yeah, I think stealing it is good. Because if he has... If he has... Uh, the 2-2-2 two, two, two re -equip, I can just end the creature... He re-equips onto in response, and the equipment stays on the orange sopter. Steal for content. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it it doesn't matter obviously. Like both lines win a hundred percent, but I think he probably brings in March, but still good. Gonna not be too greedy. I wonder if some counter spells are not okay. I know Wafu keeps in like all the delusion, bores out all the counter spells. All the moonlight. That counter is one activation of Saga, not good enough. Seems like a pretty bad matchup for Hammer Time. My draw lined up well this game, but you know, I kind of had it. On a drug counter spell seems especially bad. What about memory deluge though? I wonder if subtlety could be good. He's gonna bring in four thoughtsies probably. So two for wanting myself doesn't sound super great. I'll try counter spell over deluge, see if I regret it. Yeah, no, I think deluge is fine. I agree. But I have four dress down, four charms, bunch of to fairy. I'll keep. This hand doesn't do much, but he brings in Thoughtseize. Maybe he brings in March. His X probably a little more reactive after sideboards. Well, I got Stoneforge number two, three, and four covered. Pretty good. Pretty good against that too. No draw for you. Really nice.
He attacks into Snapcast for mana. How dare he? So now he knows I have another one or that I'm mana screwed. I have Char mana. He has Sword. He didn't do much. That Paladin's probably going to be a pain. I think I probably just say go. Better against Stoneforge too. Better against Stoneforge, better against Skill. Because I can go... Now he's probably going to cast something, I would assume. I can Dress Down. He might have Stoneforge. He might have been playing around Dress Down last turn. Hammer. Dress Down in response. Con Draw, Con Equip. Very nice. And now I get to untap and plus still have dressed down mana. Works out nicely. Maybe I should get another steam, um, the blue red one, just in case I need to cast ice twice. Do I want a shock here? I'm probably gonna want a shock. Is there's no reason to shock right away, is there? Do you have skill? You do. It beats. Bird dress down. <laughs> Got him. Poor dress down strat paying off. Oh, he's floating mana. So if I don't do it now, he gets to draw. So I should do it now, right? Just giving him an extra draw. Don't need to like sandbag or anything. Can't believe what fell. The third dress down. Can dress down counter skill? Oh, you might be right. Hmm. Yeah, it should work. All right, he gets one hit in. He has three cards in hand. I'm going to clear the board. Four cards in hand, draw step. He has a clearing. Or I could just say go and have solitude. I wouldn't hate playing a chalice before doing anything else. Then I'm going to be taking hits from Memnites and stuff. And I have a second Verdict anyways. It's got to be Verdict. Chest for zero. No. Hmm, he didn't sag. Does he have instant speed stuff? He might have a March in hand. Let's see if he brought in March. All the four dress downs paid off. I was thinking it was maybe a little much, but. No, he's going to draw all one mana cards. <laughs> Last time I played against him, he, uh. I played a Chaos on the one, and then he showed six one mana cards at the end of the game. Um, you can just double down here. Could do zero two, I guess. Doubling down probably better. I guess I drew counter spell, but it's kind of irrelevant this game. Deluge counter spell, ham sandwich. It's all the same. I could probably just attack here. I mean, it's not over. Maybe I just free the game. All right, let's play Solitude. I don't know if I had a spot to play it earlier. Hmm. 
Cathar Commando. He has March, but you know. That felt pretty good. It was the four dress downs. Another Yorion deck? Jeez. Well, at least it's good testing. Kind of. Choose outcome. Congrats, people who bet the over. And rip me down two minutes against four color. Maybe I should have checked if I was up against Yorion. Before burning two minutes. All right, it's nice to have four so they have turn to Rem. I mean, it cost me everything, but. Oh, no mana for Ice Fang. Interesting. Press down. Iteration. No, thank you. Ooh, mana screwed. Love to see it. I'm gonna tap out for charm though. You could play super aggro, just draw two. Draw two and force was verdict and try to get lucky. I really don't want to play into a counter spell here. Just gonna chill. That's gonna be a great drop for later. Can I beat a mana screwed? Just use a. Uh... Yeah, just use castle. Dress down seems good. Could bait with the Tethers here, but I don't think it's worth it. I think I'm going to go end of turn, try and draw two. And then if they counter, I can dress down to Fairy. Should probably save my dress down. I don't think this Shark Typhoon has a ton, ton of value. Let's cycle it now. Hull is nice. I just get to one shot planeswalkers now. Kind of sad for blue white if I can't win this game. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Playing your deck made me want to just play more blue white, just explore all the the blue white options. Okay, that's pretty great for me. Little value. And it stays on their turn. I already want to ice here. Ice. Their second blue. Could have counterspell or their only source of green. <laughs> Probably want to do only source of green. Hmm. Yeah. They're just too likely to have... Uh, A counter spell or something. Still one thing I want to jam to fairy here. I think I'm okay trading. Yeah, I really don't want to play into counter spell mana. Especially when I have castle and solitude. I can just cast a solitude enough turn. That's decent. It's decent use of my mana. I can side to ride back, I guess, but then I go to fairy. Could have ephemerate. They're playing that version. Getting four colors is nice for ending, I guess. On math, etc. Could play to fairy pre here. 
force them to solitude prey. No, it's fine. Just attack. Attack for four. Say go. Play another solitude end of their turn. And then attack with Hall. Alright. Good luck with the work meetings. Is bot working? Nah. Oh, MTGO is back, is it? Do I have to do something? Let's see. Solitude. Do I solitude right away? Or do I save solitude for an Omnath? Do they play Verdict? Should I just be activating Hall here? I'll just take it. Traverse with free card type, you know. That necklace is wrong. I updated the decklist earlier. I guess when I updated the decklist, uh, the bot was down. All right, should be good now. All right, I could attack with Hall, but I think maybe playing Tefers number two is better. They might play a nice Fang. Oh, Endurance. That's, that's okay. I think just bouncing it is good. Hello. Hello, relevant spell. That might be GG. That might be the game. Well, I don't know about good game, but at least game. I don't know if anyone said the evokers were going to be bad. I remember people thinking Fury was maybe the worst by a lot. It turns out it might be, you know, arguably the best. Oh, I had my upkeep clicked. That was like arena style almost. So if I attack was Hall... We can block good onto one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I still have Charm Man up. Alright, looks like it might be time. Do I just attack with Hall alone? Putting them down to one sounds kind of gas, though. Lose my Teferi, potentially. I mean, they're attacking. Verdict's not enough. We got them. We beat the man is crude, uh, for card deck. I know it's still somewhat close. All right, let's try the same plan here. What did I end up boarding out to bring in all these cards? What did I board out? Did I board out Fire Ice? Probably. How do you feel about flame blades as potential 
for Ren and Six. Well, then you can play your own Planeswalkers, right? Dresdom, not impressive. Tef as well. Well, I never see any blue white player beat four color, so I guess I'm going to do my own thing. Because <laughs> I've literally never seen Waffle win this matchup or pretty much anyone. Like, Dresdown, when they play Ice, Ice Fang is one of the best cards against you. And just getting Dresdown against Ice Fang is, is kind of a big deal. So if you're just telling me to sideboard how other people sideboard, I guess I'll pass. Oh, you've seen him twice? Okay. Trust is good. Yeah, they have a lot of one mana spells. I think it's good because the games go long. What did I sideboard? I literally played that matchup already today. Already once today. All right. I don't know about cutting all the endings, but that's that's probably not great. Maybe I trimmed the Teferi. Maybe I cut some of the expensive Planeswalkers. Because I have a bunch of counters. Yeah, I probably cut some planeswalkers. Rest in peace is good against uh against Ren, Witness, Traverse, Emrakul. Actually stops a lot. Yeah, cutting cutting ending was almost definitely not it, but oh well. I could have played Chaos for zero. I was going to play a Chaos for one. Claude dress down. Nice. Now he plays the fairy. Okay, I'll lose. Got to take a chance. Gonna take a chance in this matchup, I think. Like, it's a tough matchup. I think could have dispute. How much mana is Fluster Storm if I counter? Still two copies. I mean, I have to counter it. I'm just trying to figure out which counter I should use. Well, that resolve is all rough, but I have my own draw too. I don't know what I was about. It was trying to fake me out or not. Looks like he was pretending he was going to play like Teferi or Omnath and then might have been some kind of bluff. Kind of use Charm to have double, double spell up at some point. Also Vito is nice if he has a counter. I mean, when am I going to have time to draw two? I guess Charm counters the creatures. Maybe I was greedy. Yeah, I miss. I got all greedy maybe last turn while using charm. Well, I'm ready for more ice fangs. Seven cards in hand. The eggs. Oh, look at that chat. I can make a two two shark. 
And then dress down Ice Fang so it doesn't have Death Touch. Solitude. Kind of have to counter it. Dadge. It's a hidden mode of Dress Down. Removing the Death Touch from Ice Fang. This is kind of good for me though. The longer, I mean, I guess he has ending in his deck. But the longer the longer the game goes, the more the more one mana spell he draws. Land. Nice value land. Eight cards in hand, and they still have to iterate first. Missed a bunch of land drops. We're already on turn 10. Bait, maybe. Kind of stuck on lands. Monkeys, I don't think they play monkeys. Run in six. If I'm supposed to counter that or not. Should I play into a dispute? Ah, uh, dispute is gonna be good against me either way. Chase. Just double down on chalice, I guess. Wait, they didn't fluster storm. What the hell? Do they not know how? Okay, I'll take it. Wow, that was insane. There's no way, right? Lucas, I see that in him all the time. I mean, you're playing a prelim, you're probably like, Mato are just saving it too. I'd like dress down, on tab, bounce it. It might be better than just charm. So better if they actually have another fluster storm. I don't hate. Oh, the F6, you're right. The F6. Dress down gets owned by Basaju, what are the odds though? I'll do Dress Down plus Teferi. Better against Fluster Storm too. What do I have on top? I have another Dress Down. I have another Dress Down and another Chalice. All right, I don't think I want another Chalice. Wait, did they just have to chomp now? Can they have anything? Am I... Oh, they could have Solitude for Shark, right. Oh, I don't have Hall in play. <laughs> Gab on drugs. Oh, I didn't play Hall. Whatever, it's fine. Just say go. Well, just manage for your four color opens two games in a row. 
Right, that freaking card. I don't think I should play Dresden, right? I should have played Chaos for zero, maybe. Oh well. I don't think they can do anything too, too crazy. They can minus on my shark. I mean, they can... If they draw non-tap land, they can... Chalice for two. Play Dress Down into Chalice. Should I... Should I Dress Down now so they can't... No. Is, is it stats? Is it stats? Thank you so much for the Prime sub. Welcome to the sewer. Of course, if you have Amazon Prime and a Twitch account, you can link both. You get a free Prime gaming sub every month. You can uh, use to support your favorite streamer, one of your favorite streamers. Um, it really goes a long way. It's, you know, a decent, decent chunk of my subs. Most streamer subs are these Prime subs, so... You know, if you have that, you haven't take the time. I know it can be a hassle, but definitely consider uh, consider doing it. Well, my opponents in the tank, I guess, have some sponsors too. Ultimate Guard. If you need deck boxes, sleeves, they're the place to go, ultimateguard.com. They're coming out with a new product, the inner sleeves. Basically, the sleeves you use if you double sleeve your deck. They're going to be making uh, their, their very own katana inner sleeves. So... You know, if you're already an Ultimate Guard fan and you, you use them, that's coming. If you haven't yet, people are usually really happy with their Ultimate Guard deck boxes, the, you know, big ones, small ones, all of them, backpacks, this and that. I would have maybe gone Chalice for two, played Dress Down into the Chalice for two, and then make them draw two cards with the charm. I feel like that was better. I mean, isn't Chalice for zero? They literally have a... Hmm. I have to illusion the yards. I wonder if I'm supposed to play the hall at eight, probably right. Priming. Love you. Thank you so much, uh Debord or Debordis? Debordis? Not sure if it's French, English, Spanish, something else. Oh it's Twitch Gifts. <laughs> Twitch Gifts says priming for six months. Thank you, Twitch Gift. They can eternal witness back camera call. Yeah. I have delusion my yard though. We'll see what they do. I don't know if it's worth saving my Jace. I think just hard casting subtlety is too good here. Plus it's eight damage. Sorry, Jace. The build and Twitch gift. Thank you so much for the support. Forgot I had Prime, here you go, love your streams. Really appreciate it, bud. Thanks for the kind words. I have eight mana, right? Okay. That might be game. If they don't have anything else.
I feel like people have not had the best uh, the Emrakul turns, whether it's like misclick or what. I feel like people could have done a bit better every time. We won that matchup twice somehow. I 2 2 is 4 color twice. I think I got really lucky though. Who needs Verdict though? Ooh, one year anniversary. The word is branch. Appreciate it. I think the, the sideboard plan is sound though, trying to cheese them, board out all the verdicts, bring in subtleties, keep in the chalice. To cut up now, it's just um so prelims, you just play four rounds, like a mini tournament, and you're playing basically you're playing for these uh magic online championship series points. That's that's why people play these tournaments usually. They're also good practice, they're usually pretty good players. It's these points, these qualifier points, and then you can use these points to enter mox tournaments, mox qualifiers and stuff. So it's kind of like the Magic Online tournament system. Oh yeah, that was a game where, yeah, I'd probably lose if they counter fluster something. I'm <laughs> sorry.